Hey everyone, so I'm here with uh, Naveen from Microsoft and we're talking about the, uh, the new Xbox One controller. So uh, I don't know if you can get a shot here. We've got the, uh, the original Xbox 360 controller next to an Xbox One controller. So uh, Naveen, can you tell us uh, kind of what's new about this? What's, uh, what should we be excited about? Yeah, well, overall there are 40 improvements with the new Xbox One wireless controller versus the 360 controller. They really center around three areas. One, you get more precise gaming. Secondly, it's more comfortable. And third, it's actually more immersive than ever before. In terms of precision, the new thumbsticks, as you can see, are smaller diameter than they were before. They have a better texture on the outside before the 360 controller, very smooth on the ridges. Here you can see it has a nice knurled texture, so your thumb really sticks to it. It's also 25% smaller in diameter, and it takes actually less force to move it around. And the dead zone is, is smaller too, so before on the 360 controller, you can move around a little bit and nothing is registered by the console, but now even the slightest amount of movement actually can translate into usable information for the console. Let's talk a little bit about the comfort. The grips and the contours of the controller have been improved, so it fits a wider range of hand sizes more comfortably. We took this to consumers around the world, in Japan, Germany, throughout the United States, in England, and we wanted to make sure that the contours are familiar, but also more comfortable for even smaller hands. Yeah. And on the back of the controller, if I flip this over, You'll notice on the old 360 controller, the battery pack was in an external compartment that when you grip the controller, you kind of, you're, you kind of interfere with the space that your fingers would uh, be, be sitting in. Now with the new controller, the batteries will sit inside the controller itself, allowing more space for your hands to naturally grip the controller. Right, okay. But I think where the real magic with this new controller is the fact that we have what we call impulse triggers. So we've added two vibration motors in the triggers themselves, so you get precise feedback in the most sensitive part of your hand, your fingertips. So this brings weapons and jolts and crashes to life like never before. And what we have here on screen is a demo showcasing six different experiences that help understand and help communicate the capabilities of this new hardware. So I'd love to invite you to get hands on yeah, with this. Absolutely. And, uh, um, so if you could hold the microphone, of course. that'd be great. Okay. So go ahead and pull the trigger and uh, just let your fingers rest on them and you'll notice uh, you can see that, that we're firing each motor independently. Uh, yeah. And this visual helps give you the context of what you'll experience in the next few uh, demos as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling a kind of a buzz, a rhythmic buzz through the left and the right triggers uh, in time with what's happening on the screen. That's right. So before our old controller, we still had these motors in the grips themselves, but we've added these two right here. So there's a larger one in the, uh, I, I don't know what you would call this, the horn of the, uh, of the controller. <laughs> yeah, you and call them the grips. Yeah. So I'm feeling it through the trigger and also through the grips. Yeah, if you want to back out of this one by pressing the B button, okay. and then move on to the next one, and go ahead again, pull the trigger, and then let your fingers rest lightly on them. You'll get an interesting sensation of a heartbeat kind of pulsating through the controller. It almost feels like a real heartbeat. That's amazing. It feels like my actual heartbeat going through my fingers. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's actually quite impressive, yeah. So this is a nice job of showing just even the subtle type of feedback that you can get thanks to the new impulse triggers. And that's eerie. <laughs> that's <laughs> Okay, cool. So, this demo gives you the sensation of it as if you're starting a high performance vehicle. So think of games like Forza, you get behind uh, the wheel of one of the new McLarens, yeah, and right. uh, you, you pull the trigger to start the engine, and this is the experience that you might have. Oh, nice. So this is a really nice demo in that all the motors are firing. It gives you a, a sense of um, directionality, kind of moving around the controller. It, it really does, it's not just a single kind of motion it's it feels like it's moving and changing as as what's happening on screen changes right. okay that's interesting great but size wise i mean we're looking at it's 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 smaller right that that feels that feels smaller well certain parts of the controller are smaller from a distance you can see generally they're the same dimension but in terms of some of the curves there are points of the controller that actually get narrower and wider. Yeah. Um, the way that your fingers would, uh, would naturally grip the triggers, you can see we've rounded corners here just to mimic the natural curvature of your finger. So it, your hand can more naturally slip around that corner and your finger is even closer to the bumper than it was before. So moving between throwing a grenade and firing your assault rifle has never been easier. And then the fact that we've made the A, B, and X, Y buttons slightly, slightly closer together also means switching faster and uh, more precise gaming. So, so we've got, we got a couple of buttons here. Can you tell us what, uh, what these guys do? Yeah, so these new buttons are called the View button and the Menu button. And similar to the Start and Back button, software developers and app developers can use this however they see fit. Some examples of potential ways that you could use this, if you're playing an RPG game and you want to see the inventory your character's playing, or you want to pull up a map on screen, 
the view button might help you get there. The menu button could be used to pull up any contextually relevant menus, depending on what's happening. If you're watching a Blu-ray movie, you want to get to the subtitle or the title screen, push it, pushing that menu button could bring up uh, menus related to your activity. Cool. And uh, this this D-pad, can I can I play Street Fighter on this? Is this going to be Absolutely. the one for fighting fighting game fans? Absolutely. Again, that was one of the major areas of opportunity we saw with the D-pad. We heard from a lot of gamers who like fighting games and sports games that those sort of rotational movements, uh, they wanted to see a, a better D-pad, and I think we really delivered this time. So each time you, you press the button, you'll actually get a, a, a good crisp sensation knowing that you press the button. We have a nice sort of dish in which that D-pad sits in, so your thumb can just gently rock across it. But it's also great for up, down, and left, right movements as well. Great. Well, that, that all looks great. Thank you very much, Naveen, for taking time to talk to us. Thanks, Andy.